everybody always talks about the wall yeah. and like the marathon. You hit the wall because like, oh, our body has about, you know, 20, 2200, 2400 stored kcal worth of, of glycogen. So mm -hmm. marathons, 26 miles, you run 20 miles, you burn 100 kcals, then you bonk because you run out of glycogen. Yeah. But it's like that concept always seemed flawed to me. And yeah. based on what we know now, like it is flawed because you and I have talked about this a lot where you're never you're never glycogen depleted. Yeah, that's dead. You never run <laughs> yeah. out of all, that's a, you would be dead if you ran out of all your glycogen. So I think it's like 62%, once you get down to mm -hmm. about like 62% of your glycogen is kind of where your body's going to start to bonk. Cause it's like mm -hmm. a preserve, it's a preservation yep. mechanism at that point. Like your brain, your brain needs, you know, the blood glucose. So your body's not gonna let you dip, dip below that. Um, but even then, the, just the idea of hitting the wall never made sense. Cause even if, you were using, I mean, you're not using 100% glycogen for that entire 20 miles. You're gonna be using right. some fat depending on your <clears throat> your level of fat oxidation or fat adaptation. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of never made sense. And I think um, you're just going back to like the gut training thing and how much how many carbs can you eat? It's a balance and like doing equations, you know, you don't have to go as extreme maybe as you might in calculating yeah. like 